hope it worked. Ah, today I have a story about his fa the farmer and his old mule. Do you know what a mule is? What is it? Well, it's kind of like a donkey. It's kind of between a horse and a donkey. It's big, like a horse, but it has long ears, like a donkey. And they're kind of sturdier. They can pull bigger loads and things like that. My dad used to have one that he plowed the garden with. So that's what we're talking about, a farmer and his old mule. Well, he had put the mule out to pasture, and he was running around and eating fresh green slips of grass. They're so much more tastier than the brown ones. But anyway, he was snipping along and eating, and he saw some over there, he ran over there. The only thing is, he didn't see this pile of boards there. And he stepped on them. And boom, crash, down, down, down he went. He had fell into an old well. Well, he went, hee haw, hee haw, or whatever mules do when they fall into holes. And he raised such a commotion that the farmer had to come out of his house to come and see what was going on. And he looked down and he saw his poor mule down there, way down deep in this well. It was empty because it was an old well. And he didn't know what to do. And he thought, he thought, and he said, I don't know, I'll go get my neighbors. So he went and got some of his neighbors and they came back and he stood and they looked at the mule in the well and he said, I don't know, it's, it's an old well. It's an old mule. Maybe we'll just haul dirt and cover him up and put him out of his misery. When those guys started shoveling dirt on top of that mule, he was hysterical. He went into panic. He was praying and carrying on. They just kept shoveling dirt in on him. But then he had an idea. He shook that dirt off his back and he stepped up. Then when they threw some more on him, he shook it off and he stepped up. And that's what he did. He shook it off and he stepped up. Well, finally, very tired and exhausted, he was able to step out of the well. He was persistent. Well, well, what seemed like it was going to bury him, all that dirt, actually saved him because he refused to give up to panic and bitterness, self-pity. You know, and you know, sometimes we're like that. Things happen to us and it just keeps coming down. And, you say to your friend, oh, it's just been one of those days. Well, we're not supposed to do that. We're supposed to persevere. You know what persevere means? Stick to it. And you're supposed to be persevere. So, it kind of reminds me of the story in the Bible that Peter was talking about. In 2 Peter, he wrote, and this is when you're going for your spiritual maturity, he wrote, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue, knowledge, and to knowledge, temperance, and to temperance, patience, and to patience, goodliness, and goodliness, brotherly kindness, <coughs> and to brotherly kindness, charity. You know what charity means? Love. So love is really way up there on the ladder. So as we go through our day, we're supposed to climb that ladder that Peter said. So um, let us pray. 
our Heavenly Father, thank you for these precious children, and we pray you will be with them always, care for them, and keep them on the straight line to the heaven. Lord, we cannot climb that ladder all by ourselves. It's hard to go uphill, especially when you're little. But Jesus is willing to take our hand and give us strength. And then when we invite him into our heart, day by day, and ask him to be with us, he'll be there by our side. We thank you, Lord. We praise you. Amen. Thank you.